Ah, oh, that's so much laundry back there. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that movie wasn't very that good. That movie dude. was really bad, bro. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, bro? God damn it, suck, bro. bro. The movie sucks so bad, bro. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, that movie could have been a little better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. I was severely disappointed in this movie. <laughs> really? <laughs> The movie that I haven't seen yeah, but... a frame of until tonight, and never heard of this thing until last week. There are more people online telling us to go see this movie than there are people who want to go see this movie. It so it turns out there was a movie that opened last week. It was the identical. Oh a movie God. that none of us have heard of. None of us saw trailers Mother for. Motherfucker. None of us ever saw any trailers for this thing. Not at the fucking theater. Not on TV. Not in front of Heaven is for Real or God's Not Dead. Not any of that shit. And here come... So I thought last week that there was like nothing that was going to be opening. Oh no. The Lord had something up his sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. This movie, full disclosure, this movie did have a pre-screening. Thank God Brian and Letty <laughs> got married Brian, last week. So Brian we, and Letty got married, so we got out of this. <laughs> Fuck! But we went to go make it up today. To, so now we're all right with the Lord. Yeah, us and the Lord, we're squaresies <laughs> now. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I almost want to say to go see this movie. Why? Because you will be paying money to see one of the worst fucking movies that you could possibly shelve out to see in the theater. I can't fucking... <laughs> Big fucking screen, full price. Thousands of fucking screens. This thing debuted at number 11 at the box office. This thing flopped. <laughs> I almost want to be like, you know what? Fucking go yeah. see it. Go see one of the worst pieces of shit you will see it will this decade. God <laughs> damn it. This is going to be a long fucking night. Oh yeah, we're not done yet. We're we got not, another movie after this. We're not done this. yet. We got the good one done first. <laughs> I don't even know about that anymore. I was honestly really scared at one point when you leaned over to me and said, how long is this fucking movie? The movie started at 6.40, and I'm used to, I'm kind of used to movies starting, like, on the hour. So when I looked at my clock and it said, like, 7.20 or 7.26, I was like, fuck, this thing's only been on for, like, 20 minutes! Oh, wait, okay, hang on, it's been on for, like, 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I leaned over to Jake towards the end and was like, dude, we still got, like, 40 minutes of this well, left. Fuck we off. didn't, it was right at the end. God damn it! <laughs> In wow. case you don't know what this movie is about. Which I can't fucking blame you. Right? If you don't know what the movie is about. Oh my god. It all starts in cotton country. Uh, 1936. In Decatur, Alabama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Decatur, Illinois because it was plant life. There. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a bunch of fucking soybeans and it didn't stink all the high hell. <laughs> so... This young couple, who aren't the richest couple in the world, they live like in a cabin and shit, they give birth to twins. As it turns out, raising twins might be hard. <laughs> but luckily, Pastor Ray Liotta and his luscious wife, Ashley Judd, come rolling in through town, giving a sermon about their miscarriage. Which was a little awkward. Which was really awkward. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my lovely my wife. My lovely who wife. Who just miscarried. Who just miscarried over Thanksgiving. So, so then Jake leans over to me and goes, Oh, well, they got twins. They can just give them one of the twins. Uh, that's what that's happens. That's exactly what happened. I was like, Well, they got two. They can just sell the other one for 50 bucks. Well, they didn't sell it, they just gave it the fuck away. 
to <laughs> Pastor Rayleigh. Oh my! I didn't know God. that was actually gonna happen. I didn't know you could use babies as fucking currency. That's the next scene in the movie. The wife is like, "What? No! What? No! Oh, come on, honey! Come on! Look, that's like, this shit is hard enough. It's the goddamn depression. I got two of these little fuckers now. I was only expecting one. By Pop which, one off. This was the day their kid was born. Yes. Because, because I know math, unlike this movie, because now they give one baby to Ray Liotta and Ashley Judd. And instead of just being like, yeah, we gave one of the kids up for adoption. Like, they're talking like, oh, like, this was God's calling for us to be lazy parents. <laughs> Yeah, they were saying that, but that's what I was thinking. That's God's fucking calling. So, instead of just being like, okay, yeah, we gave one of the kids up for adoption, they fake the death of the baby. They fucking that they, fake the... Why? They, why don't you just come the fuck out and just say, we, get, we had twins... All right, our financial situation does not allow us to have two kids. Uh -huh. All right, fine. You got to give one of them up for adoption. Then just say, so we gave them to the pastor and his wife since they can't have a baby. Everyone would have been all right with it. <laughs> no one wanted to see this kid's body Nobody either. wanted, yeah, no. They bury an empty shoebox. There's a funeral. They bury an empty fucking shoebox, and they say that the kid only lived for a day. They fake, which means they that, faked his death the day the kid was born. That's they when this fucking, happened. They, yeah. This is a whole lot of nope. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Motherfucker. I don't think this is God's calling, man. <laughs> You're not supposed to just give babies away. And then it's ten years later. Ten years later. Where their son is 18 and looks 38. <laughs> With his friend Seth Green yeah. playing an 18... Well, admittedly, Seth Green was kind of convincing as an 18-year-old. Seth though. Green will always be yeah. convincing as an 18-year-old. Like, I can't... Like, I know he's probably pushing 40 now. If yeah. he isn't 40 already. Yeah. He still looks like he, he still could play like an 18-year-old. Sure like I, I, I actually kind of bought that. What was... Okay. I don't know... How Ray Liotta, Ashley Judd, Joe Pantoliano, I don't know how the, any fucking person got roped into this goddamn thing. Man, Seth know. Green, the only... I, at first I was sitting there like, what in the shit is he doing this? But I kind of get it. It seems like he's the kind of guy who would do a movie like this just to... Just, just for the same just, reason. Yeah, oh my god, dude, guys, yeah. guys, I was in the worst fucking movie. I can I can respect that, because I would do that. I know, I would do that. I would totally do that. I would 100, if you showed me this script, I would be like, I'm dude, on, I'm on board. when do we start? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not an award-winning actor like Ray Liotta, or have a career like Ashley Judd. I'll fucking do this shit for shits and giggles. I got an excuse, I can be a dick with my film on. <laughs> the fuck is Ray Liotta doing in this? <laughs> Oh, wow. I miss the good Ashley Judd movies, like Double Jeopardy, which sucked at the time. It's a lot fucking better now. Yeah. This movie makes you miss really bad movies. We sat there the whole time like, can we just stop this? And can we stop Oogie this loves. and put on Legends of Oz, Oogie Legends of loves. Oz, Oogie Loves. I would rather watch Smurfs 2 than this movie. Yeah. I, I would. I would straight up rather. I would rather watch Smurfs 2 than this movie. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> this was painful. This was fucking bad, man. This was... This was bad. This made no fucking <laughs> sense whatsoever. Well... The the twin the twin that the movie is primarily God. following. God the damn, one this who's is really I thought son. it was a Prince and a Popper story. I don't know what the fuck this I was. I know exactly what this was. This was like... Wasn't there a Simpsons episode like this where Mr. Burns came from a poor home and went to go live with... Oh my god, <laughs> there was, wasn't there? <laughs> There's like... The movie, it it wants to be like <laughs> Prince and the Popper crossed with like the Elvis Presley story. Because he's Elvis! He's Elvis! He The kid, one of them, the one that we mainly follow, the one that goes with Ray Liotta, church family, and all that, he wants to be a singer, he wants to be a rock and roller, but it can't, because Jesus. So, the other twin, the one who stayed back with poor family, he grows up to become Elvis. 
he becomes this major rock and roll singer. And not one fucking po when like the f when the main one that we're following, when he discovers the Elvis, whose name is Drexel the Dream. Drexler the Dream Helmsley. Hems okay. Hems Hemsley. Yeah. Hemsley. The Dream. The Dream. When he discovers the Dream, nothing about him says like, "Wow, I am one hundred percent identical to this guy Whoa, in that every was so way, funny. shape, or form." Jesus Christ! Like, yeah, his identical brother who is is having the same exact career path of as Elvis Presley, kind of. It's exactly it's exactly the it's same. The, Only the difference is is like when Elvis joined the army instead of the the famous brother doing it, yeah. the poor one did it. Oh yeah, and still had Elvis's experiences. Ah, I'm gonna sing songs the entire time I'm in the fucking army. And also like uh, the the main one, the dream. Like he's in like Elvis Presley type movies, like Surf and Safari, kind of like yeah. like shit, like like a bunch of surf he's movies straight and shit. having Elvis Presley's career. Which <laughs> well, hold on now. <laughs> hold on, we'll, we'll get to that in just just one moment. Just one fucking moment. Damn it! But I don't even remember what the hell I was talking about. There's so much. They have the same. He has the same. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, so they all three of them. Well, there's Elvis, and then these other two who look and sound exactly like Elvis. Yes, um, they do. And I, I will say this: the guy's acting aside, because it sucks. It was terrible. The guy's acting aside. He is a very good Elvis impersonator. He, yeah, he was. If that was him singing, which I assume it was, the guy looks. <laughs> at some points in the movies, he looks a little more like Chris Mitchum. But like, <laughs> other than that, he, he does look like Elvis. He can sing like Elvis. Like if I had heard these songs on the radio, I'd think it was. I would Elvis. think it was. Elvis. I would totally think it was Elvis. Except for the few songs in the movie that do sound like Elvis. If Elvis was doing tunes in 1983, <laughs> were you catching that too? I was catching that too. That was that was getting weird. I could not tell what time frame we were going through. Yeah, like I'm hearing some Lover Boy. Like I'm there. hearing. I'm hearing it awful like I'm getting some disco going now. I'm we getting got, some Gary Newman. We got Gary Newman. On this. The ending credits plays Ringo Starr. Got to pay the dues if you want to sing the blues and you know it don't come easy. The classic Elvis song. That classic Elvis song. <laughs> That's my favorite Elvis song. Nice to band on the run. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this Fuck movie! This, this movie so, sucks. This movie was really bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking so like the the twin that we're following the the, the identical the identical the identical. <laughs> no, no, that's what the movie. Calls no, that's him. what the movie calls him. Um, <laughs> like like there's a scene where his his God fearing uh, pastor and pastor's what is his parents come across. The, the, this is confusing. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other brother's single record that started him being popular. They come across it, she brings it home, she starts playing devil's music. And, and they're like, oh well, he can't, f he can never learn about this. The dad's even getting pissed off when he's singing scripture. In church, it's like, dude, he is technically singing a hymn. Why he's he so singing a off? hymn. What are you getting so fucking <laughs> mad about? But like, like, so he he hears he hears it on the radio. It's like, oh, what is this? Yeah, boy, it sounds like me. And so and he, it looks like and me. He buys a record, and there's a scene where he's jamming out to the song. Yeah, and he has the record in his hand, and on the record. On the record is the ident the identical twin. <laughs> He's on the fucking front of the record. He's like right there, like ha ha. In the nineteen fifties, like ha ah. yeah, like pose. And he's just, it's a good song, bro. <laughs> I'm just sitting there looking at it, looking, singing, looking at it. Look and did it not occur to you to be like, God damn it, why does he look like me? Everyone in this movie keeps coming up to him and be like, do you know who you look like? And this is another thing that doesn't make sense come later on. but uh, <sighs> Not even remotely. Like, do you know who you look like? Drexel. I hear that a lot, baby. I hear that a lot, baby. Oh, my God. 
Fuck so, me! So church dad wants him to become a minister. He doesn't want to become a minister, so he doesn't. Which there is a I don't want your life scene in this movie. Mm. I hadn't seen that since the late 90s. Oh! He, he starts working for Joey Pants in a car garage, and then he wins a sound alike contest for Drexel, in which Drexel actually shows up, who doesn't quite dress like Elvis, he sort of dresses like Elvis by way of Michael Jackson. <laughs> Man, that was the weirdest thing that I was like, he looked like the lead singer from the Black Crows in the 90s. That's about, exactly what he yeah, looked like. Okay, like yeah, the, yeah. Like the, the, the frilly blouse thing with yeah. the long leather jacket and like the cowboy hat big aviators and long hair like that's who he looked that's that's what he that's that that's what his twin showed up to the place where people were singing like him they call him the identical they do they say they, they start him touring identical. him around the country calling him the, the identical. identical and there's when he wins this contest he's singing to his brother and it's it's really it's, it's really un unintentional. It, it gets a little. It gets a little romantic. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, it gets like these two brothers are gonna bang. I hope so. By the end of this, this says PG for smoking. I didn't know it was about dick. Yeah, it's only rated PG for smoking. There's a part in the movie where Seth Green is smoking. It's smoking it's CGI is, smoke. It's CGI smoke. Yeah, that's <laughs> the devil's vapors. <laughs> So he gets picked up by, the identical gets picked up by a manager. He starts touring the country, state fairs, all of this stuff. People either think he's Drexel or they don't. Either way, he sells out crowds. He sells out, he, pe mobs rush him. Um, and then there's one line in the movie where <laughs> his manager, the identical's manager, is they get into this argument because the identical wants to the identical wants to incorporate some of his own songs into the lineup which i don't understand what the big fucking deal was there you're still selling out fucking stadiums let the fucking kid sing one of his own goddamn songs it's not a fucking matter most of it sounds alike anyway they all sound alike they all sound like elvis yeah yeah. What the fuck it's does Elvis. it matter? You have two people who sound like Elvis. And the reason we keep bringing this fucking thing up is because in the goddamn movie, I can suspend belief long enough if within this universe, uh -huh. Elvis, Elvis Presley, the Elvis we all <laughs> yeah. know, uh -huh. didn't exist. Yeah. All right. I can, I can follow this a little bit better, a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. If Elvis did not exist in this <laughs> universe, but there is a motherfucking line in this uh -huh. movie where he s says, um, he's talking about, you're the, just an identical, you're just an identical people want to see, there's Elvis Presley. There's only one Elvis, there's only, there's one, only Elvis, one Beatles. There's only one Elvis, there's only one Beatles, and there's only there's one... There's actually four Beatles, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Fucking asshole manager. God, there's only one Elvis Presley, there's only one Beatles, and there's only one Drexler the Dream Hemsley. No, there's no, not No, there's only, only one. one Elvis and two motherfuckers who look and sound like him. Maybe he was talking about Elvis Costello. Man, no, he was not <laughs> talking about... There's only one film critic, Elvis Mitchell. There's only, one, there's only one J. Elvis Weinstein. So they just straight up bring up Elvis, and there's Elvis exists in this universe. This one line makes Elvis exist in this universe. So this Drexel guy is the biggest ripoff artist you've ever seen. Why do BNB Why are people going to see Drexler when fucking Elvis himself in the 50s when Elvis yeah. was fucking Elvis? Why are they seeing Drexler, Drexler nobody is the identical? He is the to original Elvis. To, exactly. <laughs> there's Elvis, and then there's your brother who is the ultimate ripoff artist, and then there's you who's the poor man to the ultimate yeah. ripoff artist of the king of rock and roll himself. Are you motherfucking kidding me? And so, so many people are confusing the identical with Drexel. Not a fucking one is like, you know hey, who else you, you remember? You know who you look like? Elvis. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> and I'm 
talking, they completely mimic Elvis's career. Everything! Like, he lives in, not Graceland, Dreamland! Dream Fucking Dreamland! Yeah. Oh my god. The only thing that didn't mimic was his brother died in a plane crash and not on the toilet. Yeah. Which would have been funnier, actually, if he did die on the toilet. <laughs> yeah, wow! This the whole movie's just about the guy. The whole, it turns out the whole movie's just about the guy who, who sang Suspicion. The, oh, Terry Stafford. Terry Stafford. Terry, the movie's about Terry Stafford. <laughs> it's actually about Elvis himself. Is from we got a local Elvis impersonator here in Springfield named Elvis himself. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually. He's actually. Do we really? You've never heard of Elvis himself? There's probably a reason because of that really dumb name, <laughs> but I haven't, I haven't heard him. We were not, you were never at the radio station when he was there. Mm -mm. Oh, he used to, he used to come there quite a bit. Uh, no, we see, I didn't, I, I wasn't allowed to stay there very long because you fucker threw me under the bus and I got fired. We should have blamed Elvis himself. He should have blamed Elvis himself. Look, it was Elvis himself. Look, he dude, it was Elvis in. himself who broke into the radio station late at night to play paintball in the radio studios. It I sure liked Elvis himself, himself, man. Elvis himself. I like. I wonder if he's still around. I liked Elvis himself. I would. I used to have to do parades with him, and he would like. He he was bigger Elvis, like Vegas Elvis, and. uh he would do his like warm up exercises and stuff like that with his voice and just kind of walk around like the radio station ice cream truck with a microphone just going, Hey man, hey man. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this guy. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Jesus Christ. The movie, it's impossible to tell when this movie is going to end because it has no. It really has no structure. It the brothers, no... other than the scene we just mentioned with the, the singing contest, the brothers actually never really meet. They never meet because he dies before one of them re realizes that they were twin brothers. I don't know why they kept keeping them, keeping this from them. I don't, I don't know the I don't big get deal. It. This I don't... doesn't make any fucking sense. If you wouldn't have faked the fucking kid's death yeah. when he was a day old, none of this get should have happened. I don't get it. This I, doesn't make any fucking sense. Why would you fake the fucking baby's death? It's just, that empty shoebox is still buried there. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems to also be common knowledge that he had a brother anyway. And he there had was a, a brother tombstone. anyways. There's a fucking There's tombstone, a tombstone, tombstone out there. And yeah, he had a brother. And it's in the fucking Elvis, or I'm sorry, Drexel Memorial Cabin where he was born, where I guess this is what it all leads to. I, I don't know. This movie's, it's hard to pinpoint when this movie's gonna end because it has no acts. It doesn't. And while, like, they spent all of their makeup budget on Ray Liotta, whose old man makeup wasn't bad, and then, but then you also have Ashley Judd, who's not aging. Who is not aging whatsoever. You also had I don't I didn't ca I don't know her name. The mom, the the identical oh, twins mom, yeah. who looked exactly who looked the same. twenty when you first meet her, which makes sense. And then when you see her again when she's on her deathbed, she looks twenty, just a little pale. The identical dude was fucking aging backwards. When they give him long hair, he looks, looks younger. younger. They give him a beard that looked as fake as mine did in the snob movie. <laughs> the only difference was it wasn't purple under certain lights. <laughs> Look, man, we tried. Right? <laughs> that was hilarious. I liked that beard. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, what is the fuck is that on your face? Did you just go down on the grimace? What the fuck? <laughs> you just give me my cheeseburger. Just... Wow, is it... <laughs> was, that, was that the attitude you were getting when you walked into the McDonald's with a fake beard on your face? <laughs> I went to the much more vulgar McDonald's. Wait, apparently you did. They're a lot surlier. They're a lot surlier. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was the dude's last day. <laughs> so it's it, and then yeah, the identical's aging backwards. They give him longer hair and he looks fucking younger. At the beginning of the movie, when he's supposed to be like 17, 18 or something like that, Ray Liotta's yelling his ass off at him, and it looks like the guy could easily take him and take most people who are yelling at him because the guy's like six foot six and looks thirty fucking years old. 
Ugh. Ugh. This movie was so bad. I'm saying like two stars out of four. <laughs> 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 when, I got, when I got back from the bathroom, like an hour and 20 minutes into it, I had to go use the restroom. I get back and I lean over to Jake. I'm like, what would you have done if I just stayed in the lobby? <laughs> I told, I'll tell you exactly what I would have done. I would have sat there, watched the rest of this stupid ass movie, got up at the end credits, walked down the little stairs, turn around and walk down the aisle, walk out the door, Find you in the lobby and punch you directly in. Oh the man, head. don't punch me! I'm fucking playing the uh, car racing game. Oh, you fucking dick! <laughs> Bouncing your head off of the screen, then. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I, I had to take a really long piss. Yeah. <laughs> At the arcade? Fuck! Did I miss the end of the movie? Oh yeah, dude, you did. It finally wrapped it all together. I told you it, got, it would get good. Fuck off. You, you looked at me halfway into it, and I just slipped back and went, maybe it'll get better. <laughs> <laughs> there are times, dude. There are just times where I just just look at you and just hate. That was, that was one of the most, like, God, Brad, I don't know why you were, oh, dude, it'll get better. <laughs> fucking dick. No, it don't won't. Yell, don't yell at me. Yell at the one fucking jackass on Rotten Tomatoes who gave this a positive review to bump it up to 4% on it's, Rotten God Tomatoes. God damn it, there's always one. And the only thing I can figure is it's, I don't know, maybe it's from some religious newspaper or... It's it someone who it has to be either a religious paper or some kind of Bible thumper, or maybe it's somebody who just liked the music. Um, some of it's not bad. Some of the music, the music is, is okay. I, I do like Elvis. I like this Elvis. sounds exactly it like sounds Elvis. like Elvis, so I'm all right with the music. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is serious. It's the room for religious people. That's what this movie is. This movie is, it's the room. It's Birdemic. This is. A train wreck. This is a colossal, colossal train wreck that, like the room and Birdemic, oh man, it could make you mad, but some train wrecks, it's just like, this is the kind of movie where, like, Adult Swim will be a dick and show this movie at, like, midnight <laughs> at some point. Fuck, they might. It's got Seth Green it's in it. It's got Seth Green in it. I could see this building up, like, a cult following. It's, like, oh, a room-style bad movie. Please, no. No. I mean, it probably will. Because it's extremely bad. This is bad. I mean, this I, is I, can't, so I can't describe to you. And I, I've seen my fair share of bad movies. You have seen your fair share of bad yeah. movies. We all have. We all have. <sighs> this one's up this there. This one is up there. Like, really high up there. This is up there with one of the worst movies we've ever I possibly had to see. Ever at have any of these seen screenings. At any of these screenings. Yes. Uh, we, I, I was, it was so bad that we left the auditorium and I was in tears. I was laughing at how sad we were in that moment <laughs> that we went to go see this in a theater. On the big screen, we saw this movie. I know. That is insane. This movie is, this movie should not be seen by anyone. Ever. This, movie, this movie, I don't care how not religious even, you are. Not even in a church group setting. Don't watch this movie. No. Like, it's, oh my God. I <laughs> it's going to make, this is, this movie is the best friend that, What's the other movie you're saying? That when the game stands tall could possibly have. Oh, that ain't no lie. <laughs> it, it's so it's fucking It's so is. fucking terrible that when we go see when the game stands tall, which is going to be bad, but it is not going to be as bad as what the fuck we just watched. It's like when you get shot, suddenly expecting a paper cut doesn't seem so bad. Yeah, like, <laughs> go for it, that ain't so bad. Oh, uh, hmm. You got any, is there anything we missed? I don't, I can't, I can't, I would, I would like to explain more of the movie, but I can't, because there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just it's bad. It's just bad. It's flat. It's bad. It's, it's shot and acted like the most amateurish fucking thing 
that you've seen. I'm talk I am I am so talking about something like The Room, something like that. But this movie has good actors in it. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. How did this happen? How did this movie happen? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. And the, you know what? The room didn't get released nationwide in this many fucking theaters. I I don't get how I this. Don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't. It's one of the mysteries of life. This movie is just so fucking bad. So bad. I've got nothing, man. This movie. I I know. I liked how, I, I liked how surprised he was when he found out he was Jewish. I'm Jewish. Um, Jewish. Well, well, fancy that. Only the, even though he only was wearing he was wearing the um, that necklace that had a um, a Hebrew Did symbol it? on it. I that like wasn't it looked it, it looked that. like it looked like the pie symbol. Oh okay. Oh, that's about okay. how well I know Hebrew. <laughs> The pie Only symbol. Only because you've seen the movie Pie. <laughs> I'm an expert on Jewish I mysticism. Am an I saw Pie. I saw Pie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys like saying Oy Vey a lot? <laughs> I've got nothing. I really. I. I have. I have. I have nothing else about this. I don't. This movie. I don't know was what just, else to say? There's nothing else to say. There. There is. A, and I know that so many people are going to watch this movie out of curiosity because of this video. Go ahead. I would. I would. I would if I was on the other side and watching this video. You bet, you bet your ass I would. Uh, have fun. You're like, gonna be really mad. You're gonna be yourself. really mad when you're done. Like. That's sort of like, say, oh, I watched this one guy say that the ride and the high you get from heroin is kind of interesting. Maybe I should try that. Dead. <laughs> Look, just because we survived it doesn't necessarily mean you got to do it. it. <laughs> All it takes is one. It just takes one. <laughs> just one, bro. Fuck this. I can't. Wow. God, that was so stupid. You ready to go see the other one? Fuck, why not? The movie when small town explodes over a football game. Yeah, suddenly I'm looking forward to that fucking movie. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the end of this fucking movie. <laughs> That's what I'm looking forward to. Fuck me. <laughs>